Hello students, welcome back to Clary Concepts, Unleashing Conceptual Learning. Visit our website claryconcepts.com to get more insights on conceptual lectures. Today is a very interesting lecture and I want you to see till the end, okay, because you are going to learn a new law altogether. So let me ask, let me begin this session with one of the question. Have you ever thought why dams are broader at the bottom and narrower at the top? Have you look at the guidelines of uh, this smart band, I mean band watch by smart band, you, you, can, you can see in the guidelines that they say that they are not advisable to use for uh, deep diving. It has certain depth limitations, right? So they say that it is water resistance up to let's say 50 meters of depth beyond which there are chances water can penetrate into this watch, uh, this band, right? So why it has depth limitations? So the answer to both of these questions can be provided by a law called hydrostatic law. So today in this lecture, we are going to learn about what is hydrostatic law and why is it that the case when the band comes with the depth limitations and also the dams are broader at the bottom and narrower at the top, right? So let us get into this. So let's say for example, uh, if I talk about hydrostatic law, basically it deals with the variation of pressure along vertical directions mainly in a fluid at rest. See again I am saying hydrostatic law deals with pressure variation in a fluid at rest along the vertical direction. So whenever a fluid is at rest, a large fluid body is at rest and what happens to the pressure when you move down or when you move up. Okay, So pressure variation and its behavior in vertical direction is basically uh, 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 explained by hydrostatic law. So let us understand that, let us suppose on one sunny day you went to a swimming pool.